Hello everybody, this is Diane and I have a journal to share with you that is now in my shop. This is a beautiful journal featuring uh, vintage women's fashions and as you may know I have been putting a lot of uh, new digital sets in my shop. Um, they're all ephemera, I don't do journal kits. Um, but these are just images that I've scanned in from antique and vintage um, women's magazines and catalogs and the images are just gorgeous. So there are three women's fashion sets, uh, one of hat, hats and um, accessories, one of shoes, and one of beauty ads. And I think I've used something from all of them in here, in this journal. So my, my shop is linked below here, this video. So you can find the journal and also all of those digital sets there in the shop. I've tied it up with some white seam binding. Because I filled it up with so much stuff, I had to give it a two and a half inch spine and it still is kind of full. <laughs> I usually like to do a two inch spine, but this one required two and a half. The front cover was this um, light, light green cover and I used Mod Podge to apply this napkin which has um, vintage beauty ads which is perfect for this journal and then some other bits of napkin because this one didn't go down all the way so this was just a napkin with vintage lady images etc. Um, I used a vintage tablecloth which I absolutely love on the spine and put this pretty lace. It has three signatures and there's a this is the napkin a piece of piece of that napkin is what went down at the bottom here this is one of the images probably from the first set I think that's from my um, vintage fashion ladies set one I put some pretty um, scrapbook paper here I did create the spine out of um, chipboard and reinforced it with Tyvek and this uh, tablecloth fabric Here's one of the uh, beauty aid or beauty ad images, and I made it into a pocket. And it's just some coffee dyed scrapbook paper with some lace. And um, this is a cut off piece of a scrapbook paper that I had used for something else. And I added this image, which is from Hats and Accessories. And then this is one of my Victorian ephemera images. So I have a few Victorian ephemera kits and I just added that on there and on the back I just glued on a few pieces that I had in my stash for journaling. There's a bulb pin here, an eyelet and a bulb pin with some pretty beads. Oh sorry it got dark. This is just a vintage receipt and I used the digital kit that I used was Liana Scraps um, Fashion Inspiration. And, and she has the background, the backing piece pages too. Here's some of that pretty pleated lace that I used in the previous journal. This journal isn't much like the other one. Um, the other one was one signature with a lot of pages and this one has three. <clears throat> but I didn't use um, a lot of the same elements, but a few of them I did, like this. I did glue down a lot of images from my sets. I did a little bit of stamping behind this one before I glued her down. Use this merchandise sack. And there's another of the beauty ads. And this one is from Hats and Accessories. It's a bird shaped um, accessory to put onto one of your hats. And this is a vintage piece that came out of a little memo book. The images on the uh, digital kit are quite similar to some of the images that I had in my magazines and some of them are in this book. This is from Hats and Accessories on this embossed doily which I got from Denise's shop, A Tattered Dream. 
got that a while ago and I just rediscovered those doilies in my drawer so I used a couple of them. I made paper clips out of some shoe images. Now this is a real this is from the actual magazine or catalog. It's not a digital. But I made a paper clip out of it. And this is from Hats and Accessories. I just received this um, wrapping paper in a Happy Mail and I love it. I thought it was perfect for this journal. And I put some little hearts on the ends of the strings. I haven't done that in a long time. This one is just one of the flip the corner flip up pockets with a hat image, and some lace, and um, this is a tag that I made with coffee dyed tracing paper and one of my beauty ad images and some lace. And there's another hats and accessories image. So it looks like a a fur kind of a winter scarf with the decorative pieces hanging down and the little furry balls hanging at the end. And inside this part of the merchandise bag is one of the big uh, beauty ads. And I added some sari silk and a little piece of a doily and a piece of lace. You can write on the back. And the lace sticks up. Oops. I love this. Um, I just love the shape of it and the image is a very nice image. A lady and her maid. There's a dog down there. And this is um, just a die cut or uh, fussy cut. It's a digital. I don't remember who it's from but it's in my stash and this is in my kit. Hats and accessories. I had a couple of um, fabric flips that worked well that were already made so I just added them. Look at that pretty pattern. This was um, a piece that I had used in the previous journal. Uh, I made several of these. It's made with Italian straw paper. It's a journaling card. You can open it up and write on it. I uh, sewed some buttons to it and decorated it with one of my images. This is one, one of the Vintage Lady sets. It's a little bit of lace and an applique. And I glued it on as a pocket. This is from my Beauty Ads with the pretty blue paper. I thought it was so pretty. Second signature. Um, this is a piece of the Tim Holtz worn wallpaper and I this is actually from the Halloween set. But she had a purple skirt on and this this piece is actually a vintage image. This is not digital. I do have it in digital form but it would be slightly smaller because they scan smaller. But she, So this image is in my kits but this is a little bit bigger than what is in the kits. So. It, this journal does have several pieces that are actually the vintage pieces. But because of the purple in her skirt, I used um, this purple piece from the worn wallpaper and this little bit of a very light purple vintage lace. And I love the way that turned out. And this is a card from my hats and accessories. Those images all came from a 1912, I think, catalog. another flip. This is vintage linen here. And this is a vintage piece. And this is vintage fabric. Got another couple of lovely images. Some doily stamped behind her. This is a white sack that I stamped, a uh, lace background stamp and glued this down and then took one of my blue inventory tags and made this tag. This is from my shoe um, digital set. I love this picture. Just put a scrap paper 
scrapbook paper scrap on there. Some sorry silk. from one of my sets. These images were great for like filling in between the between these kind of images. So I used up a lot of the space on the page. And this is a long rectangular doily, paper doily. I just added that for a journaling card. And that one there. And here's another paper clip I made with a shoe. This is a bigger image. This is also an um, uh, actual digital piece. Sorry, I got distracted. My son just texted me. Um, and this is another journaling tag that I made. This was a scrap of scrapbook paper that had this pale blue and white. And I just stamped a background stamp on it. And this is a actual image from the uh, vintage magazine and I added a flower and a tab. You'd have to glue something on the back so that you could write on the back. Some more of that wrapping paper. Another little flip. Pazzoni's complexion powder. More journaling spaces on this doily, on the side of the doily. So some of the images that didn't have the pages, digital pages that didn't have the uh, fashion images, I just used them as the back of the page and you could write right over that. And here's the other side of the white merchandise bag. I had folded it over. Um, it was coffee dyed too before I stamped on it. I've just had this bag in my stash for a while. And I added some peach colored lace there, which kind of wraps around this side. And this is hair switches and bangs and artificial heads of hair. So this is in my um, hats and accessories. And inside is an image from the shoes kit. And then this tucks underneath that. I love these ladies. I like their faces. The hats were something else, weren't they? There's a fabric and lace flip. Some lined paper from the digital set. Another one of the straw paper journal cards with an image from shoes and cluster curls of fine quality hair. And the third signature, we have one of the images from my kit. And um, I think she is real. She's not, she's not digital. I think I gave you one of my actual fussy cut pages. I think I did scan her in, so there might be an image of her in the shop, but this is real. Another fabric flip. And another merchandise bag. This one is for hair nets, so I think this is in the beauty ads. And this is an actual image too from a vintage magazine or a catalog. like this image from my shoe set. And this is for face powder.
And the last shoe paper clip. It's a top one. And this is in my one of my, I think it's the third um, lady, fashion ladies digitals. Oh, I didn't ink on that one. And the other half of the merchandise bag is another piece of the Tim Holtz worn wallpaper with one of my blue beauty ads with, for Cuta Cura for luxuriant hair. Sorry, silk and lace up there. I really, really had fun making this and I just kept wanting to put stuff in so that's why it's so fat. I liked adding the colored, colorful flowers with the black and white images. is a vintage library pocket. I left this part alone because it was just so nice and clean and you can actually write on that. And um, I added these, this was a stamp that I have and this is one of my vintage ads. And this might actually be in one of my vintage postcard sets. It was something I had with my printables, but I'm actually, I don't think I have this, in, it's actually a photograph, cabinet card and I don't have them in my shop yet, but that might be in my shop eventually. So, um, I just have two pieces of, sorry, silk, or um, seam binding to tie it with, and this is in my shop. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back to see what the next uh, project will be. I have an idea for what I want to do next, and I think it's going to be really fun and really cute. So I hope you come back for that. And I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.